In this video, we will go through viewing path analysis in Link Live. The topics covered will be running a path analysis on the Etherscope NXG, uploading the path analysis test results to Link Live, and then we'll take a look at analyzing the test results within Link Live. Let's start by looking at what path analysis does. The path analysis app on the Etherscope NXG allows us to trace a path through the network from the Etherscope NXG to a destination device. This analysis may be performed using either the ICMP or TCP protocols. The path is traced at both Layer 2 and Layer 3. As an example, I'm going to trace a path from the Etherscope NXG to my email server. I've entered the DNS name and the TCP port number I want to test. I'll hit Start to begin the analysis. The results of the path analysis are displayed in the lower portion of the screen. The Etherscope NXG uses information it collected from the switches in my environment to determine the Layer 2 path. ICMP Time to Live Expired Packets are used to determine the routers the packets pass through as they traverse the Internet. Once the path analysis is complete, I can tap on Upload to Link Live to send the results to Link Live. Here I can enter a descriptive name, comments, and a job comment. If I'm working on a trouble ticket, I can put the ticket number in the comment field to make it easier to find later. Uploading these results to Link Live is a great way to share the results with others in my organization. This allows people more familiar with the application and network to determine if the path is correct or what may be blocking the packets from reaching their final destination. I'll tap Save to Analysis Files to complete the upload. Now that the upload's complete, let's jump over to Link Live to look at the results. I'll click on Analysis Files. Here at the top, we can see the path analysis I just uploaded. On the right side of the screen, we can see the file information and path information. I'll click on Analysis to drill into the path analysis results. On the right side of the screen, we can see each device the packet passed through on its way to the destination. The first device is the path analysis target. In the summary box, we can see the round trip time to reach the target if we are able to reach it. Clicking on the target, I can see the target name, IP address, protocol used for path analysis the TCP port number if TCP was used, the start date and time of the path analysis, and the number of hops required to reach the target. Next, I'll click on one of the switches I passed through on my local network. In the summary box, we can see the ingress and egress ports on the switch, as well as the VLANs assigned to those ports. Clicking on the switch will display the switch information, such as the device name and IP address. Now, I'll click on one of the routers I passed through out on the Internet. Here we can see the round trip time between the Etherscope NXG and the router. Now, not all routers respond with ICMP Time to Live expired packets, so some may show up with no reply. Here we see a split route. This is a case where more than one router responded for the same hop. This may be a case where load balancing is occurring between multiple routers. Clicking on this will display each of the routers that responded for that hop. As with the other analysis files, I can produce a report based on this path analysis. Clicking on the tools icon in the lower right corner will display both the CSV and PDF report options. CSV allows me to export the data in a format that may be opened with tools such as Microsoft Excel. In this example, I'll generate a PDF report. I can add a logo, enter a title, assign labels, change the subtitle, and enter a description. I'll go ahead and click on Generate to generate the report. The completed report is available in uploaded files. 
Jumping over to Uploaded Files, I can see the completed report at the top of the list. Clicking on the summary box will display the file info and created info. In the lower portion of the screen, I can view the report. If I want to download it, I can click on the download icon. In summary, path analysis is a great way to determine the path between the Etherscope NXG and a target device. The path details may be uploaded to Link Live for documentation and analysis. Any member of the Link Live organization may view the path. A report may be generated and shared with others outside the organization. Be sure to check out our other videos on getting the most out of Link Live. Thank <laughs> you.